yeah hi students uh, i am dr badrinath and uh, we are studying about the t test there is a four types of t tests are there t test type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 we are studying the type 3 now in this video right okay see my dear students type 3 test we are using see here and uh, see the keynote here when when you have to use the type 3 test sample group comparing with the another sample group see here one sample group i am comparing with the another sample group but not with the population population is big sample is we, we what we have collected from the population is called as a sample that we know very well so one sample comparing with another sample not with the population okay if you want to compare the sample group values with population you have to choose the type 1 type 2 t tests okay and also sample size of the first group see here this is the first group and second group must be differ in such a case only you have to choose the type 3 see here how many values here 1 2 3 4 where here 1 2 3 4 5 are there not equal that's why you have to take a type 3 if it is a equal sample 1 sample 2 four values four values each equal then you have to select the type 4 okay <clears throat> see type 3 is also called as a unpaired t test because there is no pairing see here four is there here five is there that's why it is called a unpaired t test and also independent it is also called as a independent t test okay so in the examination they may give independent t test unpaired t test or type 3 t test sometimes they didn't give in anything straight away they will give the question if they will give the question we first see sample sample is there sample population is there sample population means type 1 or type 2 sample sample means type 3 or type 4 if number of samples are equal 4 4 type 4 if it is unequal four samples and five samples okay values then you can do type 3 see here 1 4 2 3 4 here 1 2 3 4 5 unequal unpaired okay see here in this uh video here there was a uh, comparison of the branded painkiller that is a sample 2 comparing with the generic painkiller that is the sample 1 okay efficacy of the treatment of the two different painkillers branded painkiller generic painkiller are given below these are the efficacy values which were tested among the four patients which is tested among the five patients compare the means of okay you know mean median mode so means of the two samples sample 1 sample 2 and find the significance at 5% alpha level level of significance alpha 5% in the question itself they have given 5% you have to select now what i will do this is the procedure first step is consider the null hypothesis alternative hypothesis next number 2 calculate the t value because it is a t test you no know? t value type 3 and compare this t value with the standard table t value next number 3 conclusion either you have to accept the null hypothesis or reject the null hypothesis now we will see step by step first step null hypothesis h not h0 no difference that we know very well in the hypothesis testing i have already made video how to construct the null hypothesis how to construct the alternative hypothesis i have already explained in in that video okay you just watch it null hypothesis no difference between the sample 1 sample 2 that is nothing but sample 1 is equal to sample 2 it is nothing but generic drug equal to 
branded drug. Alternative hypothesis, there is a difference between the sample one and sample two. Sample one is not equal to sample two. Generic drug is not equal to branded drug. Like that here, first of all, you have to consider. First step is over. Now, second step. See, this is the question values what they have given in the book. What you have to do, first you have to determine mean X bar X1 bar. First group mean values. You know, you have to sum up 10.1, 13.6, 12.5, 11.4. You sum up this divided by four. Four. So because four values are there now, one, two, three, four, four. You will get a 11.9. And whereas a X2 bar, this is the mean of this. One, two, three, four, five values are there. So you sum up all the value divided by five. You will get a X2. Now this is the T value formula. How to calculate the T value? X bar, we know X1 bar. X2 bar, we know. N1 is nothing but number of values in the first group. 1, 2, 3, 4. N1 is nothing but a 4. N2 is nothing but number of values in the second group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So N2 is nothing but 5. So SP value, we have to know. We don't know that value. SP value we have to know this is the sp square value so first we will determine what is the sp square value from the sp square we will calculate the sp from the sp we have to calculate the t value yeah see here this is the s1 value you know x minus x bar of each value x means each value minus x bar is nothing but mean of that group Okay, so we will get the value of this one, 6.74 divided by 3, 1.49. S2 value, X minus X bar in the second group, each value minus X bar is nothing but mean of that group. We have already calculated here, X2 is 10, X1 is equal to, uh, X1 is equal to, the X is nothing but these are the X values, 10.1 is X value, 13.6, each value minus average of the mean of the same group that is like that you have to calculate and you have to sum up x minus x bar whole square sum up so you got the value s1 s2 these values you have to keep in the sp square formula so this is the formula sp square formula this is the formula so you got the value of 1.3757 sp you have to calculate 1.1729. Now T value will calculate. T value. We got SP value no easily. Yeah. T is equal to 1.9 divided by SP value N14 N25. So we have calculated and finally we got the T value 2.417. That is obtained T value. Okay. And degrees of freedom. How to calculate degrees of freedom? In type 1, type 2, it is a n minus 1. Since it is a type 3, n1 plus n2 minus 2. Okay, so n1, 4, n2, 5, minus 2. Total, you got degrees of freedom. Now, we will see the standard T value. This is obtained T value. Yeah, this is the T table for type 3. T table also different for type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4. Okay. This is a type 3 T value. Degrees of freedom is equal to 7. Okay, very good. Excellent. And significance level in the textbook, in the question itself, they have given 5%. That is so, when you cross check this one, you got the value, standard T value, 2.365. So, obtained T value, 2.417. That is what we have calculated here. And critical T value, that is obtained from table, 2.36. Okay, which is obtained from the T table for uh, at 5% level at 7 degrees of freedom. Now, the conclusion. Bahubali, the beginning. Bahubali, the conclusion. So, final step is the conclusion. Step 3, conclusion. 
since the t value 2.417 is more than the critical t value 2.365 that is the standard table the null hypothesis is rejected that is the null i.e. there is a significant difference between the sample 1 and sample 2 that means that sample 2 is not equal to sample 2 one is not that is nothing but generic painkiller not equal to branded painkiller okay so we have concluded here next we will see the type 4 t test in the next video